Welcome to another episode, everyone. This one's kind of neat. Got a chance to uh, uh, go out with a uh, uh, off-road trailer made by Exploration Overland. This video is brought to you in part by Raven Truck Accessories and North Shore Off-Road. So a lot of you guys have seen me camp a variety of different methods. I've done sleeping in the Jeep in a, in a kind of like a bed setup inside. Um, I've had a soft shell rooftop tent, hard shell rooftop tent, and a lot recently I've been using the Gazelle tent and doing a lot of ground tenting. So when the opportunity came up to try out a, uh, a, an off-road trailer from uh, Exploration Overland, I jumped at it. Now there's other trailer companies that are offering as well. So I figured, well, this is a great opportunity to compare them and kind of see what's out there because it, it's, a, it's a huge growing industry. And as a lot of you know from the expo, there's a lot of manufacturers out there and a lot of options. So I jumped at the opportunity and uh so yeah we've got a exploration overland trailer hooked up behind us and it is going to be a great weekend meeting up with a couple of good friends and just have a low-key nice camp out and kind of enjoy what trailer camping is all about off-road trailer camping so i hope you guys enjoy this as much as i did and uh thanks for joining As you can see, um, my wife, Miss Overland Alberta, was driving the truck. The towing experience, very, very positive. Uh, this little trailer tracked really well behind the truck to the point where you really didn't notice that it was even there. Now that we've uh, parked it, got it ready for camp, we're just gonna do a little bit of a quick walk around some of the features. We'll start with the hitch. The hitch was a Max Coupler articulating hitch. This is important because when you go off road with these trailers, it's gotta be able to articulate, not just side to side, but also up and down. As we move to the side of the trailer, um, we can open the first locked door. Once you open that door, it reveals two batteries. Both batteries are hooked up to the electronics that are inside. There is a nice light switch to turn on and off. You can also see that there's a hot water tank hooked up to a water pump. And if you watch, there's an easy fill nozzle on the outside of the trailer that will allow for easy water filling. There is also a port outside so you can plug into shore power. There's also a place to mount your spare tire and your propane tank is also mounted up front. The tank for the diesel heater is located just on the top. And the rear panel is where you open up to find your water heater. This is where you can plug in your shower attachments as well. As you can see, there is a nice storage compartment on the top of the, uh, the front of the trailer. And you could definitely put a lot of luggage in here once you strap it down. On the side of the trailer, this is where you access the kitchen. There's two little latches on the side, and then you pull the slide out. Once you pull out the, uh, the slide, it reveals a nice, spacious Dometic fridge and a stove. And if you need a little bit more countertop space, there's one more tray that slides out to give you that. To stabilize the trailer, there's uh, stabilizing jacks on the corners that you can pull out and, and put down. I have to say this is one of my favorite spots of the trailer. 
Once you open the locking latch, it reveals a whole bunch of storage that you can use. It's nice and deep so that you can put a lot in there. On the side of the trailer, there's a quick pitch awning. Once you unzip it, you can open it up and it reveals a huge covered area that you can now uh, be a little bit protected from the elements underneath. Once you wrap it all the way around, you just hook the one end up on the trailer and then you lower the legs so that it'll give it a little bit more stability. You also have tie downs so that you can basically uh, st uh, stabilize the awning in a high wind situation. On the top, it was also equipped with a quick pitch Mini Max tent. The fenders were nice because you could also use them as tables if you wanted as well. The tires were a 285 7017, a fair decent size for what you need, you, even though you could order them a little larger. The suspension was built by Cruise Master. It's nice, it had dual shocks and a full spring set up fully independent. Next is the interior. The diesel heater has an intake and an outlet, and it hides underneath the front panel. To turn on the Wabasto heater, you simply push the on button, and the heat starts coming out. There's also another switch panel. It has your interior lighting, your exterior lighting, tells you the voltage of your batteries, and also gives you a handy dandy USB port. The switch panel also controls the outside lighting on both sides of the trailer. The interior light switch activates a nice LED strip that gives you a nice blue light all the way across the interior. The side windows are nice, you can open them up and you have a little bit of a mosquito net there but it allows the air to come in. There is a latch on the door that locks. The window also locks, slides up, there is a mosquito net in there as well so you can get some breeze going through. There is a really nice interior organizer from 23-0. It was nice because there was a ton of little pockets that you could utilize. The mattress was a nice four or five inches thick. It was really nice to sleep on. It's uh, a lot better than some of those cheap rooftop tents where you get a two or a three inch mattress. Made a big difference. The camping experience really comes down to good food, good friends, and good times. We had all three this weekend, so we were pretty fortunate. But I did have to say, it was a lot easier to keep organized with all the storage room in the trailer. Sleeping in the trailer that night, it was cozy, it was warm, I slept pretty hard. Well, after a really beautiful sleep, got up in the morning, wanted to try my new coffee, yeah. Diver's Brew. I was pretty excited about it. It's over here. After we had coffee, it was time to pack up and go. Pack up was pretty easy with the trailer.
Well, thanks for tagging along, everybody. This was an absolutely fun weekend. Uh, get out, try a segment of the market I've never tried before, off-road trailer camping. And I can see why it's a huge growing segment. The simplicity of it is absolutely amazing. To be able to pack up really fast and, and be gone, that, that's awesome. I can see where if you're doing a long-term expedition run or something like that, yeah, I can see the, be the huge benefits of that. Anyways, I really appreciate you guys joining. I hope you guys had a great time and you know what? I'm gone. Have a good time, everyone.